This morning I'm going to go through the efficiency of this new generator. Now I'm going to explain the various functions of it so that you can verify it for yourself. This is how we do it. Now the, the main components are obviously the new generator. This is a new 50 kilowatt. It has a um, method for measuring the RPM. It has a new um, 6,000 voltmeter, which is the highest I can get. <clears throat> and what it's got is an, a, got an Excel spreadsheet. Now, the efficiency is determined by this function right here. D3 in times D3 is squared divided by 51. Now, that 51, I'm going to show you how that's gotten to. We go here. We look at it. It's 51.8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this function with 0.8. All right. Now, this will give me the perfect thing. Now, what you have to do is you have to take the output, square it, and divide it by 51.8, which is right here. This gives you the proper... Um, output. Now, you, to get the efficiency, you divide it by the input. Now, this is a fairly complicated uh, formula, but basically what it's doing is it's taking the RPM minus and the torque minus the offset and taking the voltage and giving you the efficiency. There it is right there for those who, who are concerned. Now, once I do that, I can then get an efficiency understanding. Now, that's the test we did at 75 RPM. We had, um, this is not correct, but I will tell you how it's done. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way through the RPM. I'm gonna put in the data and you're gonna see the efficiency. You're gonna see it right here. This is a, this screen right here is the Himmelstein, which is back there. That is a calibrated by Himmelstein. It costs $600 to calibrate. We have it so it's perfect. Everything here is third party. We are not affecting anything. We're not affecting anything and we're not doing anything and I'll show you how it works. Again, when we turn the generator on, this is gonna monitor the RPM. We then put the RPM in here we uh, take the torque and we minus the, we subtract the offset and then we measure the voltage, which is gonna be here. I'm gonna put this down on the voltage and that will generate the efficiency. Now we're gonna try one, just so you know. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna turn the generator on. You're gonna see the RPM come up. I'm running it at, at uh, 91 RPM. I'm going to put 91 right in here. I'm going to put the torque in. You can see it right there. 2.8. I'm going to put the voltage in, which is 35.27. And that gives us an efficiency at 91 RPM of 82.6%. Now we're going to speed it up. I'm going to speed up the... All right, I'm gonna wait till this settles so you can give you an accurate number. We're now at 141. I put in 141. 141. 
I put in the torque, which is 4.3 approximately. It's never exactly right. I put in the voltage, which is 60.3. That means it's at 142 RPM, I'm at 94% efficiency. Now I'm, let's go up faster. And that gives us 98.66% efficiency. Now let's go up higher. And the voltage is 80.5. That gives me 96.96 efficiency. Let's go up some more. The efficiency torque is 5.8. The voltage is 86.4. And the efficiency is 97.4. Thank you. 
let's say 7.4. and girls 117 percent it doesn't get much better than that that's what FTC has done <laughs> 